Today's video will be showing us on how to design or create a school badge. Remember, there is no specific design for school badge. So we will be creating our own school badge today. And this tutorial will take us to how to make use of other shaping tools like the train, the intersection. In our previous videos and works, we've actually made use of the weld tool. So today we'll be taking a, we'll be moving further to combining the train, the intersection with the weld and see how we can come up with this badge design for today. And we will also be introducing us to, to the envelope. The envelope tool. We'll be making use of the envelope tool also in this badge. All right, so we'll start by drawing a rectangular kind of shape. I'll make a copy of the steps. Then the next thing, I'll be looking for how to envelope it. I'll need to fold this rectangle to an envelope kind of shape. So how do I get my envelope? I'll get my envelope from my effect menu here and then you see envelope this is your envelope docker then I'll be clicking on add preset preset allows you to choose any shape you want the selected object here to actually turn to so I'll be moving down scroll down to get a bad like kind of shape here as you can see it's already beginning to take the shape and then you apply wow so this badge the envelope has actually made it easier for me to get a shape like this saving me the stress of trying to use my freehand tools to construct and curve something like this of course you can attempt it using your manual freehand tools and your shape tools to call but you may not really get a perfect kind of skeletal shape of badge like what we have here using the envelope tool so i'll be closing this envelope the next thing i'll do from here i'm grabbing a copy so the next thing i'll do from here is to use my shape tool if you have been following up our video, you should be aware of this shape tool and its uses. So with the help of the shape tool, I can use this to actually shape straight lines. So please, for more information on shaping straight lines, refer to our previous video on how to curve straight lines. You will find out more usefulness of this shape tool. So I'll be using the shape tool on this badge. I click on this straight line click on to curve automatically it will give you this handle ignore the handle simply click from the middle of the straight line you can drag down to get a curve shape I'll do same thing here right click to curve perfect as well, I'll keep a copy. So, the next thing we'll do from here is to get a circle, place it both sides make a copy of it place on this other side make sure they are both on same layer okay having done this the next thing i need to do is to use this circle 
and create a curve on this badge how do i do that select the entire object use your trim if you use your world this is what you get it might be good depending on what you want to do but what we're about to do we're making use of the trim it can take away the unwanted circle you only use it to train this aspect once you're done you can delete it so the next thing we move over to how to get a copy of this bad shape how to get an extra layer for this bad shape that will now introduce us to your effect tools contour contour allows you to apply series of work concentric shapes so i can actually add series of concentric shapes around this particular active shape here so i'll be using it once selected take a look at the property bar here you will see to center you will see inside contour and you will see outside contour depending on where you want the incoming line to be applicable so i want the line to be outside that means i need a copy of the line outside automatically you have an extra copy of this bad shape outside this is a perfect duplicate copy here you have your contour steps number of lines that can be deployed i have two lines here three four steps so i'll be taking it back to one step and then down here you have your contour offset contour offset refers to the space between the duplicated lines the more i increase it the more spacious you get so i'm just going to reduce it depending on your design so this is what we have so the next thing i will do from here is to ungroup I will need to ungroup once the contour tool is applied and you have an extra layer of lines automatically everything here has been joined together by a force so you need to break them apart you break the contour apart if you don't break the contour apart you can't move each of those shapes individually you can't do that even when you color, the color applies to all the shapes. So I'll be removing the color. So how do you break the contour apart? That means you trying to separate these two shapes individually. All you need to do is to make sure the entire shape is selected. Go to your arrange and then break the contour group apart. Then this shape is on its own. This is on its own. So I'm going to control Z to return them back the way it is. So the next thing we do from here, I can get a rectangle across it. Remember your P that allows you to position the object at the center of the page you also remember your rotate how to rotate object please try to refer to our previous videos on these rotations try to place it in between this curved area 
so the next thing we do from here is to try and cut up this part of the rectangle outside the shape and see how we can trim it to fit perfectly within this axis how do we do that by selecting the inner shape of the badge and the rectangle you do that by holding down your shift key and then click on each of the objects you wish to select after that i can now go down to my intersect it will intersect you can take off this unwanted part of the rectangle you can equally delete it you can get your colors okay so having done this your badge is set you can choose to get your writer let's give this badge assign it to a school And increase the size as you want. Okay. So we've given this badge. We've assigned it to a school. What else do you need on this bag? We'll be deploying some items that can help to beautify the bag. So we'll be getting some object. That will not take us to special characters or symbols. So how do we insert special characters and symbols? Once you click on your text menu, you click on your special characters and symbol, and then you wait for the docker to display down here, just like this. So under your font, you simply need to click and select the phone that has the object you need so i'll be taking a look at the font here called weddings i can simply type or tap w or try to spell it here Okay, so this is the character, the font character I'm looking for. Webbings. You can also come down and see more of the webbings, depending on what you want. But the characters I'm looking for is under this webbing. So I'll just simply click on it. So select the characters you need from here. Okay, I'll be going with this. 
Hey guys, you know that thing again I need? Okay, I will as well go with these books. Who signifies education? So I can click and close this character docker. Fine, you can go ahead with your coloring if you wish to. You can choose to increase the outline a bit. Choose to color this. All right, so we have successfully created our school badge in quite a short time. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscription button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Try and stay tuned with us. More videos will be coming up on this channel. Always subscribe and activate your notification button to always get notifications our new videos thank you